Hi kids, today we're gonna talk about a little thing called gaslighting. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health and what I like to do is pull different topics from the YouTube community, try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And while you're at it, follow me on Instagram because I'm trying to get to 10,000 followers and I'd appreciate it. So gaslighting is a topic that people always want me to talk about on this channel. So what better time than Rice Gum releasing the worst apology on the entire YouTube platform than to talk about gaslighting. Gaslighting is such an important topic, I'm even gonna be studying up on it in this brand new book. Hashtag not sponsored. So anyways, anyways, I know I just made a video about this, but this is a hoo hoo hoo. This is a whole new thing and it just came out as my wonderful editor, Zach, is editing my other video with my son. And you need to go check that out if you haven't yet. It'll be linked up in the info card as well as at the end screen, all right? So to catch you up to speed, Rice Gum and Jake Paul and some other YouTubers are promoting um, a website called Mystery Box and it's basically gambling. So Rice Gum has been called out by people like H3H3 as well as PewDiePie and other big YouTubers and he just released his apology. So gaslighting is a technique that abusers use, okay? This can be mental and emotional abusers. They use it to make you question your own sanity, all right? So what Rice Gum is doing is he's acting like he had no idea what this was. So this is terrible too because it's a lot easier to manipulate children so Rice Gum is trying to play the victim here. And he's like, hey, you can look at anybody or any endorsement. And what he tries to do is give you examples of other YouTubers who have done sponsored deals. So he's trying to compare these two things, right? But if anything, with all the scandals that have been going on in the last year with different um, companies and all of this, Rice Gum should know better. He would know better, okay? And He's acting like, well, my management just came over here and they just presented this to me. No, 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 no. I just need to clear this up because I don't even think it's a big deal. So the other day I posted a video where I was promoting this website. Basically my management just came to me. I was like, yo, Rice, here's this deal. Promote the app or whatever, you get paid, right? And on YouTube, it's like a common thing. Like when YouTubers work with brands and sponsored videos, like I've seen Shane Dawson, just I've seen so many YouTubers do it. So he said that he just went on this website and started doing it. And it's an absolute load of crap, all right? So when someone is gaslighting you, two things that you need to do, look at the facts, okay, and bounce it off somebody else. So if you have somebody in your life who's gaslighting you, have a friend or a family member that you could talk to about this thing. But if you watch Rice Gum's video, which my son and I reacted to, he knows exactly what that site is doing. He knows exactly how that site is working. But the way that Rice Gum is gaslighting you is he's trying to make you, the viewer, believe that he had no idea that this was something even related to gambling. He's just like, oh, they just gave me this website and then I just click on this and click on that and the prizes open up and that's all I thought it was. You can tell because he uses gambling language, but he dumbs it down to a kid's level. All right. Teamster actually tweeted saying, first big story of 2019, Jake Paul, Rice Gum, Gambling, blah, blah, blah. But at the bottom, he said, I was offered 100K to do the same thing and almost took the cash, but didn't. So I can't go that hard on them. So apparently they only offered Keemstar 100K. So my numbers are higher. So imagine how much they offered me, right? So the money was on the table. And if I wanted the money, I just had to open up a few Supreme boxes and shoe boxes and boom, I get the money. So I was like, yo, that sounds easy enough. And here's the other thing too. One thing that I'm very surprised that Rice Gum forgot to mention when he said how YouTubers are sponsored all the time. When YouTubers get brand deals, almost every single time, they're given a list of bullet points that they need to discuss, all right? That is why Rice Gum's video sounds very similar to Jake Paul's video. You can look at this for anything. If you look at um, popular YouTube sponsors like SeatGeek, okay? Like um, Postmates, like Honey, all right, you will see that the same kind of language is used because they give you certain talking points to discuss. So the fact that Rice Gum is trying to act like he didn't know is absolutely 
absolutely ridiculous, all right? Now, let's talk about the next part of this video, the next topic about how Rice Gum is a little kid and refuses to take responsibility and he's basically an adult version of a tattletale. This popular YouTuber made a video like kind of roasting me. I mean like mainly roasting Jake, but like he said some things about me too. But I just find it so funny. Like I think it's hilarious that like this, you know, gambling thing is the current, you know, topic of discussion right now. It's like a big deal, but it's just like there's this YouTuber named Reaction Time. He actually has more subscribers than me. He made the same type of video. The same type of video like three months ago. No one said anything. It wasn't a problem back then. Look, look, look. All these guys right here, right? They're in David Dobrik's crew. Whatever. They're influential. Got kid fans. Same thing. Open up boxes. This was three weeks ago way before i was doing it why did no one bring it up three weeks ago or even talk about these guys this guy morgs same exact thing literally same thing four months ago and he's not even promoting gambling to kids he is a kid yeah let's do 17 gambling it's not a problem though right Ooh. So this is what we call a deflecting technique, right? Get the attention off me and let me start calling out everybody else who did this. Well, what about them? What about them? Nobody was calling this person out. This person did it too. They did it more. So again, he's trying to play the victim. And this is something that it really bums me out and why more parents need to see who their children are watching because these YouTubers are manipulating their young audience and they know exactly what they're doing. They know exactly what they're doing when they're trying to play the victim and pass it on to these other people. Don't worry, Rice Gum. Now that we're aware of it, more people are gonna be called out on it. But for you, for you, the viewer, if you're watching this, the worst thing you can do when you're apologizing to people is to try to point out what everybody else is doing, right? That's something that kids do. That's something that children do. If you grew up with siblings, did you ever pull that thing? Well, 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 Sally did this, or did you ever get trouble in like freaking grade school? And you're like, oh, oh, well, well, Thomas did that. Like, Rice Gum is an adult, and we need to get to a point where we're starting to acknowledge that these young YouTubers are adults. They are not great adults because they are manipulating young children. And that's not cool. We need to quit accepting that these are just young people who don't know any better. Thinking back, was it even worth doing this deal? Like all this controversy, was it even worth it? I don't know, man. You know, I do feel bad. You know, I'm like kind of defending myself and stuff, but I do know I'm somewhat in the wrong. It's true. It's true. I'm an asshole. Like, what was I thinking? Like, I can't really do much because I already did it. The damage has been done. You guys already saw a money hungry side of me, and it is what it is. And there's nothing I can really do but say sorry and give you these Amazon gift cards. So I'm sorry. It just wouldn't happen again. Amazon closed ten to twenty dollars. Just a little giveaway. It's, it's the least I can do after you know this. You know. Um, okay, have a good day, guys. I'm sorry again. I hope you guys can forgive me. Let's have a good year. Yeah, no, okay. Um, all right. All right. The last thing that I want to touch on that really, really is messed up, especially when it comes to abusive relationships, is that Rice Gum tries to make it all better by giving away all of these little Amazon gift cards at the end of the video, all right? And he does it like this nonchalant thing. But he, again, this was very intentional. He knew exactly what he's doing. And that is so reminiscent of an abusive relationship, all right? Those of you who have been in an abusive relationship, feel free to let me know down in the comments below. Maybe you had abusive parents, right? I grew up with an alcoholic mom. My alcoholic mom would run amok say terrible things to me, neglect me, ignore me, do all of these things, but then she'd buy me toys or she'd buy me video games, right? Some of you might've been in an abusive relationship where the person, you know, verbally, right, abuses you. Sometimes they might physically abuse you, but hey, they took you out to a nice dinner or hey, they bought you some flowers, all right? This is another technique that scummy people use to try to get the attention off of their bad behavior, and it's absolutely not cool. I know, I know that this video sounds like a rant, partially because it is, but as always with my videos, I really hope anybody watching this video is taking away abuse techniques that abusers use so you can be more mindful and aware of it. 
or if you have friends who might be in an abusive relationship, I hope you could take this away, uh, take these lessons away from this video and say, oh wow, my friend might be in a bad situation. Oh no, my friend might be a victim of gaslighting. Maybe I should intervene. Oh no, my friend is saying that her boyfriend is actually amazing, even though he did this last night, this terrible thing last night, but he bought her an expensive bracelet today. All right, so I'm sorry, Rice Gum, but the adults in the room, we see exactly what you're doing and we need to bring more awareness of this because like one of my goals with my channel is to make this platform a little bit better of a place while also helping you improve your day-to-day -day lives. All right, but anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you've ever been gaslit before, let's talk about it down in the comments below. But if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And I have a bunch of new stuff over there on Patreon. If you wanna check it out, click or tap right there, all right? Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.